Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's D. Taylor Jolly. I'm Dr. Willie Jolly. We're the authors of the book Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. Tonight, we're going to talk about. The, the blame, blame game. game. All right. Well, before we get there, though, we want to welcome everybody. Our, uh, we got a lot of folks around the world who are part of our family now, part of our community. And we're grateful for those people wherever they may be. And we're grateful. We also want to uh, welcome anybody who might be new on any of the other platforms because Twitter Live is new. Uh, you didn't know that, did you? No. So we were on Facebook. Instagram and LinkedIn Live, but now we got people on Twitter Live. So welcome to those folks. Thank you for joining us. We'll, I'll figure it out. Twitter Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, all right. Uh, and then of course we got YouTube. All of the YouTubers who watch later in the week, uh, and people from different parts of the world. I thought that was kind of interesting. Amazing. With our um, Spark, our publishing information. Oh, as okay. To so the marriage book. We, is just, in different, we just got the uh, royalties, royalties for the last quarter. First and quarter. people from literally around the world are buying this book. And we're surprised. We were surprised, we were surprised the places uh, Australia, England, Paris, Greece, um, uh, Africa, uh, people around the world. So I'll get the list. That, 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 that was amazing. We, yeah. we, we didn't know that. So we're glad that people are buying it. And welcome to wherever you may be coming in. So let's from. give them some meaningful information. They let's can, talk they, about they, it. They, so what came up was that one of the reasons people break up or their marriage is estranged and stressed and not happy. And how many of you want a happy marriage? Okay. How many of you want a happy marriage? Good. How many want to be happy when you get home and really great, great relationships? Well, one of the things we learned was that we got people who talked about my spouse plays the blame game. And what does that mean? So they will do one or two things. It, what it really means is it's never their fault. Okay. It's somebody's fault. It might be the, your fault. It may be somebody over here fault. It might be somebody over there's fault. But it's never their fault. They they have they have made a a way to deflect all responsibility, and that's really what it comes down to. Responding with your ability, mm -hmm. response ability. And so what we want to do is talk about how that can have such a negative impact on your relationship and can uh, hurt your relationship. So we want to talk about that. I need you to that. Is, that, is that on? Yeah, it's on. Everything's on. Oh, okay. 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 All right. We, just, we, 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 we are looking forward to having as many people as possible. So uh, let's talk about this blame game situation what it is, how it becomes a problem when people play the blame game. So why do you think people don't want to take responsibility? Because it's easy to not take responsibility. It's easier than manning up or womaning up and saying, you know, I messed up or it's my fault or I made a mistake. That's, that's the reason. Well, maybe they don't want to admit that it could be their fault because they have low self-esteem. You think that could possibly be? Here we go. I don't know. Here <laughs> we go. Here we go. It's always trying to, we're trying to, to, to diagnose what their reason is. I don't know what their reasoning is. I don't know why they do it. Does it not become important to I don't know why. In terms of solving the problem? But no, it does not because I don't, I can't, I can't tell you the answer if it's true, one, and well, how, are we, how are we gonna help somebody if, if you blaming somebody else for all the problems? That means you have a problem, right? That's correct. They have a problem. Now, I can't tell why they have the problem, whether their self-esteem, whether their lack of character, whether it's their fear. I don't know which one it is, but you gonna tell them. <laughs> you gonna tell them, go ahead, tell them, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying it's gotta be. <laughs> They feel inadequate. I'm saying, I think. Can, can I offer my opinion? I think you're going to do that anyway. <laughs> yes, you may offer your opinion. Go ahead. By the, the way, you look that, very cute tonight. 
I know what you're doing. What am I doing? You're deflecting. <laughs> He's deflecting. Let's, uh, let's just bear that in mind. Right? All right. Hmm? Okay, go ahead. You're trying to take me off my game and away from what I'm trying to say. All right, go ahead. Say what you got to say. Mm -hmm. Say what you got to say. Mm -hmm. So I, I am saying that if, if a person is deflecting and doesn't want to take responsibility, it has to be some kind of issue with them in terms of them feeling inadequate, feeling that they're less than if they say that Okay, I made a mistake. They can't. They can't handle it. So uh, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's low self esteem. They have doubt. When you when you self, you know, I don't know if that's the reason why they do that though. I don't know if but it's self esteem. Well, how do you how do you? I know? do know that they do it. I don't know what causes them to do it, and I and I'm guessing, but they do it. And how do we fix it? If you don't know why, how you gonna fix it? Because we don't have to make some assumptions. <laughs> Okay. In order to fix it, you got to make some assumptions. Am I not right? No, you're not right. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to make assumptions. You just have to say, here is the problem. SBI, situation behavior impact. I don't know why you did it. I don't know why you're doing it. But I do know that it, what you're doing is having an impact on moi. And that impact on moi, your spouse, I'm just using the generic moi, is, is impacting our relationship. And I need you to stop. I don't know why you're doing it. You probably don't know why you're doing it. Uh, what's one spouse speaking to another? You don't know why you're doing it. They might know why they're doing it. Because they feel insecure. <laughs> <laughs> but that but we do know that there is some reason why they always do it. It's somebody else's fault. Never my fault. Maybe they're insecurities. Maybe they have an arrogance issue. Hmm. That I'm above all of this kind of stuff. I don't know what it is. And maybe the arrogance is a result of covering <laughs> up. <laughs> For self esteem. <laughs> okay, let's be serious. All right, okay. okay. So, what we want to do is talk about how we don't play the way, blame game. We never play the blame game. I, I, we don't do that because we know it's not healthy for our relationship. We don't say, D, it's your fault. Y'all have seen our TED Talk. If you haven't seen our TED Talk, you'll see. Our strategy for getting past the blame game is what we talk about in the TED Talk. And for those who haven't seen the TED Talk, it's out, it's doing well. We want more people to go see it. Have somebody uh, uh, send me a text just over the weekend. Oh, really? I got to share this text with you. Oh. I got to share this text with you. I haven't shared it with you. Uh, and the, here's what the text said. Um, I just watched your marriage video. It made it from the back burner to the front burner. I loved it. Aww. As I'm sure you know, it's not just to married folks. It's appropriate for everyone. In fact, I teach some of those principles in my courses, but from a different perspective. But I promise you. It's this conflict. I know, but a conflict resolution course. Uh -huh. But I promise you, I am not nearly as engaging as entertaining and just downright cute as the jollies. <laughs> I was so well, it was so well done. I think I'm gonna watch it again and again. Our friend Karen Bell Casey. Oh, happy Easter. Nice. Isn't that a nice note she sent me? Oh, so, she's a sweetie. I so so we you, hope Karen. everybody is going to go see the TED Talk. Because some of this about blame is fixed with the TED Talk. Because why do you place the blame on your spouse or, or somebody else? It's not you're not you're not understanding how important it is to be friendly, be frank about their feelings. They are frank about their feelings, being fair, listening, and then win-win. Be focused on win-win. And so once you get to that level, you don't need to play the blame game because y'all are in it together to win it together. Am I right? Well, you're not focused. On each other, you're focused on the problem. You're yeah. together there you focusing go. on the problem. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so we talk about blame game in the book. And one of the things we talk about is how important it is that no drama, leave the drama with your mama. That's chapter number five. Jo drama and crazy is a choice. As things get crazy in life, you don't got to get crazy with them. 
You must be gracious, make peace, and work together for the greater marriage. Then takes two. That is where the blame game. Accept responsibility for your part. That's it. When you accept responsibility, I had a part to play in this. Even if they did something that was, you know, that prompted you yeah. to what? act in a certain way. Well, if they acted in a certain way, or they acted and said, did my behavior or my words or my actions involve help to create the environment, mm -hmm. the milieu? You know, oh my goodness, he's so educated. Makes me so excited. Oh, yeah, my, what does that uh, mean? I don't even I mean, know what that means. It's the <laughs> <laughs> it's the environmental situation. Oh my goodness! Where'd the you get that word from? Because you educated. I'm educated. <laughs> I'm brilliant. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. How about they show narcissistic traits? Uh, Brenda Colson said, "What? That's a, that could be it. That they, narcissism is part of the one of the issues that came up when I was talking to this person about." Blame. They have not. You, great. You're right on. They have. They were narcissistic, and so they. Not me. Uh -uh. Oh, we've seen that in in officials who were narcissistic. Never my fault. Somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. Well, what do you do then? You go back to those four F's. Be friendly. Here's the problem. When you, by friendly, don't so, do it. So, so here are the facts. Here are the facts. Here are the facts, ma'am. Be friendly. Be fair. Be frank about your feelings. Now, if they're narcissistic, if they're blameless, if they're all of that, rather than saying you're a blamer, you're narcissistic, nobody's going to take that. But here's how what you said, what you did, how you made me feel. Mm -hmm. No one can ever question your feelings. This is so critical and it's profoundly critical that when you say, this is how that made me feel. No one can say, no, that didn't make you feel that way. You can, you can look and say, yeah, you did. That's how it made me feel. I think your tone of voice also becomes very Yes, important. very important. It's, mm. it's how you say what you say, which goes back to Again, communication. communication. Many of the things we talk about over and over in the book are part of things. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, Brenda. Um, she's a great point. Now, be kind and continue to extend the knowledge branch when people. And, and you know what? When we, when, 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 when we're talking about that and actually dealing with couples, we, we get. I don't feel like. I don't feel like being friendly. I don't want to extend the olive branch, and I really want to hit across the head. In fact, I should just increase my life insurance. <laughs> on that, that person. On that person, because that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Uh, so that is not a time. So, so really, you have to pick the best time to have this uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So it, it sounds easy, but it's really not. You have to want to do it. Yes. And sometimes we have to, a lot of times we have to bite our tongue. Yes. Like I said, you know what? A sense of humor goes such a long way. And that is something that is acquired. Let me take I a moment. A Let me take a moment here to tell. <laughs> you, you, you did. Uh, I'll tell people that if you have questions that you want us to deal with, because that's how this came to us. Yeah. Put it in the chat. Would you put, or either put it in the chat, or, or they might not want to have their name attached. Okay. So don't put it in the chat. Email it to us uh, anonymously. We will we will answer Just anonymously. email info at info williejolly.com. I-N-F-O at W-I-L-L-I-E J-O-L-L-E-Y.com. You say, here's my issue I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. Your what, thoughts are What are your that? thoughts on that? Right. So we can bring that up. Okay. So more and more people are sending us those questions and that's having impact. So look, uh, everybody loved your comment about you better go increase the life insurance on that person because uh, they might no, be. Uh, that's, that's that's just leave it there. And, and, and a sense of humor. Have a sense of humor. <laughs> no, because you really, I think, I think if we're honest with each other, you know, you get so annoyed, you need to walk away for a while. Mm -hmm. I see my, I don't think my husband is much more of the kumbaya 
and he's cooperative. He's the one with the counseling degree. I, I don't have any of that stuff. I'm like, I need to have, I need to have a break. I need to walk away, take a long walk. Yes, but we don't have no kind of arguments. We don't have those kind of situations without without um, a stick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> we we are way past that over the years. We have been able to get past that by developing the sensibilities that we don't get angry at each other, but we, don't. Had, we take full responsibility. But I had to develop a sense of humor. Yeah, she did have to develop. I had to, and, and that was a result of my will. Yes, you did. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Yes. With all of the great things that you're saying, people are thinking. That sounds easy for him to say. That's your personality. Yes, you're right. It logically flows that, okay, you don't really want to engage in combat with this person that you're sleeping in the bed with and y'all are having this disagreement. But how do you get to even talking about it in a non-confrontational way? Sometimes you do have to, in many, you have to be able to walk away. Now this whole thing, I know you're gonna say, well, you can't go to bed having an argument don't let the sun go down you know i know all of that but it is not easy no it's but not sometimes easy. you want the sun to go down so you get attack them in the dark <laughs> <laughs> i had to develop a sense of humor <laughs> yoga several days a week because it really is calming and gives me an opportunity to take a deep breath and not say things that I can't take back. I mean, you, you're you my mean, boss. Well, and but, went, so, now, so sometimes, sometimes and let me say, as a married couple, we almost never say anything negative to each other. But at, at the boss through the day, in I have the a business world, I have a different cat. It's a wear. whole different person. And sometimes I shut the staff down and she's part of the team and I have to say, nope. We're not doing that. We're doing the other. I mean, oh, you don't say something like that. Nope. Your nostrils are flaring. What? I don't want to spend any money on this thing. <laughs> hey, you take me. You take me. <laughs> no, because my nostrils can't flare like that. <laughs> so I have to develop <laughs> a sense of humor. I mean, I'm just saying that is so, so very important. <laughs> and I say all the things that, that I'm thinking. Yes. Right? Yes. I'm glad yeah, you know. Because <laughs> she's a she really is a gangster under, under that uh, uh, southern hospitality veneer. There's a gangster up under there. And so we had our friend Dr. Rowe here the other uh, for the last week. Y'all seen her on television, and uh, she was on BET. She was, was on a she was a nutritionist for Dr. The, Oz with, and with for the, with, with Dr. Oz when he was more sane. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Meredith Vieira. And mm -hmm. others. He was. She was. She's a well-known. She was just on the Sherry Shepherd show. She's a well-known television personality. So she's been visiting us. And she said afterwards, "D, you know, you're a gangster up in there. There's a gangster in that little, that little uh, veneer of uh, Southern charm." She said, "She, she is. She is funny. You're right. You're right. She is funny. But uh, we talk about these things. So don't play the blame game. And if somebody who you're in a relationship." Tends to play the game, blame game. It wasn't me, it was you. It was, That's a red flag. You're already married. Well, if you're married, you gotta, you gotta work if it. you're not married, oh, oh, you know, we got a chapter in the book for people not married. To, to, so you got to ways to put them through the and you test. cannot, and you cannot, you get this, you cannot change a person. You know, I heard a great quote what? the only difference between a person. The day before they're married and the day after they're married. They got a ring on their finger. Ring on the third finger. <laughs> That's really? it. Really? Where'd you get that from? I heard it. I heard it. Uh, it may have been. I got somebody. I said that's the only difference between a person. And I was reading after the wedding, really, it comes to marriage. And mm -hmm. that's where the work begins. That's how the work comes. Mm -hmm. And did you also know that 
in, in this this process. I just finished reading the book of the lady I'm interview on my XM show. That she's a planner, mm -hmm. and she would plan her life the way she wanted to be, and she planned for her career. She's in corporate America, and how she wanted to have a family by a certain age, and how she wanted to have the children. Uh, and knew how many children, and if they were two of the same sex, they would do a third child. And if, if, if did the had, husband cooperate, or was he aware of it at he, all? She, she, before they got married, she discussed everything. With oh them. wow, everything. How smart! That's that's. I think that's unusual. Very unusual. She she discussed children. She discussed career. She discussed in advance how she wanted her him. And he was a, he was in the same corporation to be willing to retire so he could be a house husband while she was the breadwinner. Oh, would wow. you, she said, would you be willing? To, that was before she got married. What about how unusual? How about your finances? What how do you envision? That's the main reason people break up. About what about finances? finances? How do you envision money? And so these were things she discussed with him before. Now, say, I'm just using that as a, as a... We didn't discuss that. We discussed any of that. We, we discussed had, any of that. We had grace. <laughs> but the grace of God, we discussed any of that. We didn't we was, any. First of all, we I, was, I was in love. <laughs> she was trying to figure she, out. She, he, was, he was an entertainer. Lord have mercy. And I told him, I married him in spite of the fact that he sang for his supper. Lord Indeed. have mercy. Do you know what happens when you sing for your supper? What happens? And you get paid in cash? What happens? You have a problem when you get ready to buy a house. <laughs> you you learn you, that? You have a problem when you get ready to buy a house. They're like, okay, where's the trail of the checks? Oh, now I got to go back and make it up. Which is what you did. Oh, it's so terrible. She is smart as, as a woman. Oh, my God. So she did it. We were able to buy a house. And thank God. Okay, let's keep going. The blame game. The blame game. We don't want you to play the blame game. Successful marriages don't play the blame game. You can take you play, can you responsibility. Can you play the blame game by yourself? What does that mean? If you don't have a participant, if your if your partner, we're having this conversation. If your if your significant other is saying it's 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 your fault. It's your, okay, but you you here. You can choose not to participate. Here's what you do. If they're always deflecting. The blame, deflecting the responsibility for the mess ups. That's usually what the blame is. Mm -hmm. Something messed up, something went south. Well, it was so and so's fault, or the, it was somebody else's fault. Then your job is here's how you handle that, folks. You tell that person, here's how that makes me feel. When you blame me, but you never take it. What if they like it? Well, well then. That is why they do it because they like it, but you have to you have to make them understand how it makes you feel. If they don't care. Then you married poorly. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't care about your feelings, then that's a problem. That you, uh, I mean, you. and there are some situations like that. There are. Now you got a couple choices there. Our choice is we want you to to work through it with therapy or going to counseling. Absolutely. Going to counseling. counseling. Even counseling. if your mate doesn't go, you, you go. need to go. That's right. You need counseling. We say that to people who call us. Yes. We are not marriage counselors. We, we, we give you a list of people who we recommend, but we are marriage mentors. And that means? We don't try and... Give you all the answers. We tell you what worked for us. That has had. You can walk alongside and see and see how we live out. See how we live our See lives. how we live our life. We haven't had an argument in thirty five. What are thirty six years? Oh, so these things. People years. like hanging out with us. They do. They want to. They want to come to our the local hotel. Yeah, we got. There's a, there's a <laughs> the Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> right here, and they don't pay. All right, now we got people come. I want to just stay with y'all because we got a lot of positive energy. Uh, we don't. We laugh. We talk difference. to each other kindly. Somebody, yes. one of the people said, "I." Somebody just said to D, "I, your prayer wife. Mm -hmm. I want to find someone who treats you like Willie treats you." Yeah. Didn't she say that to you? Yes. And so they want to be around us. because we have gotten past the the petty stuff and and blaming is petty. 
It's petty. So if you are a person who exhibits that blame game persona, stop. You ever see the Bob Hoot Newhart can, show? Can I ask you, can I, can I say? Yeah. Look, you ever see the Bob? I know it's gonna be something outrageous. Bob Newhart, you, you want to look it up online? Uh, it's Bob Newhart uh, segment on the how to how he was dealing counseling. with counseling. Counseling, and she and he came in. And the lady said, "I've got this issue where I do such and such and such and such." He said, "Okay." He said, well, "Before we start, my let's put the game rules. My fee is five dollars." Ten dollars or twenty-five dollars in advance, and once I've given you the answer, no need for you to stay around. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna give you the answer. Your choice if you want to stay, but it's that's it's half hour for X amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. And so the lady goes into detail about her how she continues to do this thing over and over again, over and over again. And he said, "Okay," mm -hmm. he said, "I got the answer for you. What is the answer?" Stop doing it. <laughs> she said, what? That's it. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop doing it. You got to stop it. Just stop it. And she said, what else? He said, that's it. Stop it. And she said, but, but he said, okay, I time this up. <laughs> I've told you the answer. I told you the rules before we start. It's a hilarious. I, I'm giving a, a, not a good version of it because it was so funny. But here's the thing. If you are playing the blame game in your relationship, you gotta stop. I would, it. I would ask. Yeah, I was. Can, can I interject here? Yes. You have to figure out why you're doing. Oh! That. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Then you pull your hair out. I'm, I'm pulling my <laughs> hair out. <laughs> it is helpful to know why you're doing something, right? Yes, it is helpful. Right? It is helpful. Look, our time is woo. Our time is almost off. Look, we 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 want you to go get the book. Make love, make money, make it last. Ten secrets to shape a great marriage. Go to Jolly Marriage. Get the bundle. We want you to get the you bundle. Get wherever you are. Version, you get the electronic version. That's Especially two books. For those who are overseas. Yeah, books, workbooks, yeah. audio books, CD seminar, all digital. And ideas. And ideas. Yes. It's great. Go get it. It will help your marriage. Whether you're in France, so the people are our friends in Australia, I love going to Australia. Dubai and South Africa, we love South Africa. Paris, we love Paris. Uh, Caribbean, St. Martin, wherever you may be, get the book. It'll help your marriage. Get two copies. Share the information. That's right. Two copies, one for you and one for your significant other. Read it together at the end of each chapter. Discuss the learning points. It will transform. That's our prescription and our mentorship to you. Get two copies of the book or get the bundle. Two no copies of the book or the game. bundle and no blame game. Our time is up. I want to thank you for yours. Hey, we're going out on our music for my jazz album. Many people ask where? WillieJolly.com slash jazz. WillieJolly.com slash jazz. Here we go. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.